be talking about arthroscopic microfracture of osteochondritis dissecans of the elbow. There's the lesion, the bone underneath has died, and the cartilage is disrupted. It, there's a loose flap of cartilage which is uh, causing problems and inflammation. In addition, the piece of cartilage that has broken off is floating around the elbow and preventing the hinge joint from fully extending, sort of like a door jam preventing a door from fully closing. Uh, we need to take off the inflammation and need to uh, debride the unstable cartilage and get down to the bottom of the crater and form a nice stable area for new cartilage to heal. I'm using a curette to remove the remainder of the cartilage and then we're going to create some sharp vertical walls so that the new cartilage has a stable bed on which to form without disruption. And here is a burr and we're just going to uh, lightly burr the bottom of the crater, get down to some bone that will bleed once the tourniquet comes down and help form uh, fiber cartilage. This is a microfracture pick and we mallet it in and it creates a hole in the bone through which bleeding can occur and form new fiber cartilage. The fiber cartilage is not going to be as good as his natural cartilage, but it's certainly better than what he had and certainly be better than nothing. We're going to go around the periphery and make a series of these holes. This is commonly done in athletes with arthritis of the knee and works very well. The elbow uh, also works very well, especially because it's a non-weight bearing joint, the stresses are less and therefore the cartilage that forms is better able to handle the loads that are imposed on the elbow. Works as long as you can get a nice stable crater and uh, nice vertical walls to insulate the forming cartilage from stresses. And here we're finishing off the periphery of holes. Now we go in the center. And you can see the array of holes here through which the new cartilage can form stable vertical walls of the crater. This is the piece of the cartilage that is uh, broken off and has grown and is impeding motion. Uh, it's too big to take out arthroscopically. We'll may have to make an open incision. First we want to stabilize it so it doesn't run away. With a needle we open, take it out, all done.